All right, rednecks, I just got home from work and I already have to take off and my buddy there is not gonna like that very much because he's all full of energy, but this has to be done before it's gone. So I have to go out in the garage, grab some tools and yeah, we'll get going. Wow, guys, look at that. We've had a heck of a storm. We got a big old branch down in my driveway and uh, luckily no flooding in the basement yet. But. Yeah, we need to make our way into the garage. Ooh, that's slow. It's the old Oldsmobile. Yeah, for you uh, old timers, there you go, the S10 Blazer. Yeah, thanks for sticking with me. We'll, uh, we'll eventually get back to work on that. It's been, what, two years? <laughs> oh, we're after this right here. We gotta get some tools. Let's see here. We don't need any wrenches. We need uh, speed tools. Quick work tools. Oh my! Uh, my crescent wrenches are missing. Hopefully they're in here. Uh, there they are. Here we go. So that'll get us mostly what we need. Uh, I'm gonna get a few more tools packed away, and then we will uh, head off. And uh, yeah, I'll show you where we're going. We're taking the uh, turtle as the uh, Oldsmobile here still isn't going. So I got a lot going on and I can't wait to get this thing done. But right now, let's get some tools loaded in our bag. What are you guys doing there? Come on, let's go. A little mucky. Ugh. Oh, can't have that on. Get some copyright. But I tell you what, guys, see me in a t-shirt. I mean, it's it's not warm. We got snow on the ground still, but I believe it's uh, February uh, 7th, and. Uh, this is actually pretty decent weather, but I still got my coat, so yeah, we got to get going though. What am I doing? All right, guys, I am actually on my way to uh, LKQ, which is a local pick and pull, which uh, in pick and pull, that's, uh, I guess, slang for like a lot of cars that you can pull used parts off of. Now, these things are all around. They might not be necessarily called LKQ, but that's one that's close. Uh, close to my house and I guess local around here. Um, if you've never been to one, I'd suggest checking them out. It's kind of cool just to walk around. It's a $3 entry, ah, $3 entry fee here, which isn't bad. I mean, just going in and just, if you're, if you're a true car enthusiast, I mean, just going there and checking out what's out there and uh, seeing what people have done to vehicles, not only done to people, have been done to them. I mean, like crashes, accidents and stuff like that. And uh, kind of, just enjoying just checking out all the options. I mean, any part on any of them cars, all for sale other than uh, catalytic converters. But I mean, it is just cool to go out there and see the kind of stuff you can get. And budgeting, I mean, man, if you're on a budget, these places are uh, gold because yeah, let's face it, used panels, aftermarket panels for vehicles, they can get expensive. And not only that, you need to uh, paint them, you know, prime paint, clear coat, have them paint match to match your vehicle and if you can go out and let's say you need a door you can go out and pull a door off of a vehicle that is already the same color as your vehicle that you are currently driving you're already money ahead because you no longer have to pay to have it painted and all that plus you don't have to transfer everything over like you'd normally have to transfer over your uh, window regulator your window tracks your door seals your window itself uh, door panels I mean that all adds up when you start buying it at these pole lot pick and pole lots because they're gonna charge you for the door they're gonna charge you for the motor they're gonna charge you for the window but in the end you are gonna be ahead because of how cheap you're gonna be able to get it all versus buying an aftermarket panel which is usually a worse quality door than what you had before and on top of that you got to get it paint matched so just my two cents I uh, personally use them quite often so yeah Better pay attention to driving.
there we go. That's a risky one. Let's go biking. I mean, it's nice out for February, but it's not that nice. You won't catch me biking. <laughs> Well guys, I'm gonna have to warn you from here on out, the uh, video quality might uh, get a little bit worse due to it uh, raining out. I'm gonna have to use my action camera here, so yeah, that kinda sucks, but we'll get in there and then I'll uh, get back with you. section if any of you haven't figured out what's going on yet yeah oh. yeah we're coming near the end here I haven't seen it yet oh oh there it is oh boy See what we got. Oh man. Oh, come on. Well, that's a bummer. Uh, I'm going to have to turn you around here in a second and show you what we got. I'm not very happy, but here we go. I'll get the uh, better camera out here too because it's not raining. Oh my god, I never thought I'd see her again. Well guys, this is a uh, real bummer. This is uh, my old lifted Honda. We didn't make it very long without my care and I actually came here for the uh, brush guard. So I seen in the pictures, moon visor was gone. And roof rack was gone, so I figured I'd have a little memento of myself for uh, of this car for myself. And unfortunately, as you can see, it's already been pulled. So I got to get something from it. I'm not sure what yet. Maybe I'll pull the, uh, the antenna. Oh, what a bummer! Let's uh, let's get you guys inside so you can see what's going on with this thing. Yeah, that's in pretty bad shape. A little dent right there. A lot of rust. I can't get in on this side. It's too wet. We'll go around to the other side. 
Oh, look at that fender. Oh boy. What did they do to this thing? Oh, I'm surprised nobody uh, napped the cluster yet, considering it's only got 30,000 displaying. Somebody uh, pulled the rear seats. Yeah, I got the overhead console. Nobody took my Infinity speakers yet. <laughs> rear wiper cover. Yeah, center console's missing. Some of the dash. Man, oh man, guys. On the back, somebody took my uh, turbo sticker. That was one thing I was thinking about grabbing. Ooh, look at that rust hole. Oh, breaks my heart. Duels are still on there. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna cut out right here. I'm gonna pull that power or that uh, antenna off, I guess, and that'll be my uh, memento for this car. Guess I'll uh, have something to remember it by at least. <sighs> what a shame. Man, guys, this might be the last time I sit in this thing. Oh, had this thing for eight years. That's crazy. It makes you realize, you know, it's not everything lives forever. Oh, yep. It's cruising. Keys in it? No keys. Not even a ball in the shifter. Ooh, that thing is. Clutch don't work no more. Can't even disengage it. And I did notice somebody did take one of the Infinity speakers. Unless it's back there, I can't see. You guys tell me, is it back there? I can't see. You guys ain't going to tell me, are you? Yeah. All right. Enough crying. Let's, uh, let's head out and I'll show you some more vehicles on the way out since it stopped raining. So, I guess I never really got you guys in the engine bay here. Uh, as you can see, the uh, 4 to 1 header's still on there. And then uh, look at my uh, patch job I had to do. I think a mouse ate through it at one point. So I had to fix all them wires. The battery tray had to get replaced. Distributor's still on there. Usually those go pretty quick. Let's go see if the computer's still there. Oh, somebody grabbed the computer, which is uh, pretty common. It was a, uh, I think it was a uh, P06, which is a fairly rare computer in itself because a P05 is factory to these. P06 it's because it has a uh, 1.6 if you look at our uh, block stamping I don't know if you can read it is a D16 a6 block and uh, usually these these were d15s and what that stands for the D is the uh, you either have a D series which is a single overhead cam this is a single overhead or a B series which is dual overhead cam you have two you have uh, two cams and then the uh, second number, the 16, refers to engine size. It's a D, single overhead, 1.6 liter. So that's how you tell what a uh, Honda motor you have. But, uh, yeah, I think I'm done here. I'm going to get a few more pictures of it. And uh, I'm going to head out. Bye, Honda. All right. What do you guys want to see? 
right now we're in the uh, import section. Look at that. You want to play with Legos. You can have uh, time with your kids out here too. Look at that. Want some Legos? See anything good? Got some oil. I gotta watch where I'm walking too. It's not only slippery, there's debris everywhere. <clears throat> what do we got here? BMW. Nice leather. Lexus. We got a Hyundai. Gee, that's a little nasty. Look back there. Ugh. We got a Civic. And then we got a, oh yeah, a bubble car. Stick shift. Interesting. I like these Mazdas. I wish I could get one in a wagon. Another, another Honda here. And see, the nice thing is, give you all your information. So it's a 99 Honda Civic. Tells you what day it was put out here and everything. So white trash racing. Race car. Yeah. Head over. Keep making our way through here. Oh, this is sketchy. Look at all this. What I'm walking on, guys. And a nice newer Honda. It's going on. It was 2001. I guess not that new. Very well. Oh, oh we got a, got a note back here. Let's see what we got. Uh, is that the 2.2 two or 2.5? I don't know if my engine's good enough. Let's see here. Say on the tag, 2.5. All right, come on, focus. There you go, 2.5. So those, uh, those motors are known for head gaskets. To say, if you look down in there, yeah, it don't look like a head gasket's been done. It does have new uh, plugs and wires. I'm assuming plugs it has wires. Whoo! Look at the interior on this thing. That is ugly. Like a blurple. Look at that for mileage. Yeah. Yeah. Blurple seats. Here. How about uh, instead of looking at me, you can look at some of these cars. We got some photos here. Nice little van and yeah, Mazda. Let's make our way to the uh, Chevy section. Kind of a Chevy, uh, Chevy guy right here. <clears throat> here we go. Camaro. What do you think? V8 or V6? I'm thinking V6. You never know. Look at that. <laughs> we'll never know. Impala. Thirty one hundred. That's some S10s. Uh, yeah, if you're looking for a uh, Blazer S10, Jimmy, Bravada. Sonoma, the list goes on and on. There's a lot of them things out here. You got your, uh, you got your pick. Obviously, Oldsmobile is the uh, higher end of the two. Got some leather on that. I always like the overhead consoles on these. Very universal. It actually smells kind of good in that one. We don't have smell vision though. Saturn view. What else we got? I see a neat colored vehicle here. I don't even know what that is. Is that a new Saturn view? You guys know what that is yet? Trailblazer? Yukon? Equinox. Can't say I see many of them. Let's take a look inside here. There you go. Another uh, famous S10. 
There we go with another one. And there's a that's kind of the tapper. We got a blue one over there. Seeing anything cool? Yeah. Let's go check out this uh, S10 with the topper. Kind of a topper guy. Look at that. It's not in bad shape. Looks pretty good. All the windows on. We got a little bit of a crack. I don't know if that's a crack. But that's actually factory to it. But my hands are getting a little cold, so I'm going to lift you guys up, let you look around one more time, and uh, I'm going to head out. So, <clears throat> yeah, it's cold. that's kind of unfortunate uh, I was looking forward to having that it's kind of a memento of the uh, time I had with that I mean it was a car that I've had for quite a few years but I guess I'm happy knowing that somebody's out there using it because they took not only the uh, brush guard but they took the bumper cover and the steel bumper that's underneath it which all together means they're gonna be putting it on something so I guess I can be happy knowing it's out there somewhere being used so yeah Hopefully you guys uh, kind of like the content. If uh, any of you have never been out in a pick and pull, uh, leave a comment below whether you're going to do it now or not. I mean, it's it's a cool uh, little adventure, I guess. For uh, three bucks, you can have a lot of fun. But anyways, like, comment, share, subscribe, and get back to work.